with another banger. We're going to be talking about four stocks that all have big news, okay? The first one's going to be Peloton, as you can see by the title. The second one's going to be BBBY. The third one's going to be SoFi. And then make sure you stay tuned for the last one. Though I do write them in the title, though, so you guys can see uh, the actual stocks. Just in case you can't see this here clear or you don't hear me well. But we're going to go over big news, how I'm looking to play them. I am looking to play each single one in their own different ways, okay? So make sure you pay attention. Smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Let's get this video over 100 likes and subscribe to the channel. Let's get the channel over 100K subscribers. That is the goal. Now with Peloton, if you go over here to the list, Peloton is starting to move up in the rankings. It's the biggest one that has moved up, I think, within the past like 30, close to 30. It moved up about 132 spots off of the news that it had. Look at the 24 hour, up 1300%. And about 248 upvotes. I feel like these upvotes are going to be going up a little bit. And also the mentions are going to be going up. You want more mentions to bring eyes to it. As you can see like BBY. You see the uh, the move that they had. They had a lot of mentions. They had a lot of upvotes. Now with this 24 hour change. We might be seeing that same thing in Peloton. So let's go ahead and go over the news. Of what happened with Peloton. They did a fitness equipment on Amazon. So they basically did a deal to start selling their products on Amazon. To get to a wider range. Of people so that might even do better for their sales and so i know their company was doing pretty bad so they rose about 20 percent today after the uh, fitness equipment maker said it was partnering with amazon.com and will sell its exercise bike and other accessories on the e-commerce giant us website in a bid to prop up flagging sales okay so that's the main thing right there of the news that peloton had so let's go ahead and go back to uh the peloton stock make sure you guys don't forget join the team willknowledge.com this is where you get all my buys and sells, private live streams, learn how I trade, very beneficial. Make sure you join the team. It's that first link in the description. So with Peloton, the ticker's from right there. We had that big push up. Remember I was telling you guys on Peloton also that we wanted that rewind of reversal to go higher, which we are getting. It's still pushing. It's down a little bit after hours, which is pretty normal after this run that it had right here, right? So it did have a nice run from close about a 20% run, which is very good. So let's take this off. It's clearly making that move. As I was telling you guys, we had a buying level of about $13. Now, what I'm going to do is I have a buying level at $13, but I actually want to move this a little bit lower to about $12. About $12.50. Why is that? Because I actually want a little pull down to actually confirm that this run wants to go higher. I'd rather it not shoot up because one, that doesn't let you get in. Two, the faster it shoots up, sometimes the faster it comes down. We want to be mindful of that. Like here, you see how fast it shot up here? But look how fast it came down, right? Shot up, no pullback in here, came right back down. It's been on a downtrend ever since like January of 21. So if we could potentially break that at these lower levels, now it doesn't need to get all the way back up here to these highs, but at least try to get to about 40 even 30 type of dollars, we can potentially get a nice gain in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these two exits here, $24 and $18. Those are still some exits that I would like to attack, but I just want a little pull down in here. Like I said, I don't want to shoot up. I want that pull down. And on that pull down is when we will really know if that push is going to, uh, if that push is going to help it. Now they also have earnings tomorrow. They do have earnings tomorrow that we want to be watching out for. So I feel like that earnings is either going to push it down to better prices or it's going to shoot it back higher. If it shoots it back higher, then we really have to wait. So watch out for the earnings tomorrow. We'll kind of see how that plays out. And um, But yeah, that's the main levels I'm looking out for uh, Peloton right now. Next one is BBBY. Okay, remember the three steps we're looking for on BBBY. Support, buying pressure, entry, right? But BBBY also had some news. They secured a loan. Now, I feel like this is why BBBY had that push that it did today. Because it secured a loan deal. To raise cash, I think it was about 300, like 320 million, if I'm exact. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't think it's going to say the number here, but I think it's around like 320 million or so like that. Now, they haven't released too much on it, as it says right here. The company told prospect lenders on Tuesday that it has selected a loan facilitator, but has yet to provide further details on the loan. So it hasn't provided too much, but they did get one to uh, help with their liquidity. And I think it's around like 320 million or so like that. So that might be the reason why BBY is up today. I want to kind of give you guys that news on it. 
and that I had a buying level about nine dollars and eighty five on this one also. You see how that acted as like a small support? Act? Well, actually not small. See how it acted as support? The only thing that kind of messed BBY up today was this big open, right? We don't like that because then it just pulls down and just stalls out. Remember what I told you guys? I always tell you guys this. It pulls up, then it stalls down. Remember, don't forget to smash the like button. Let's get the video over 100 likes, okay? It'll take you one second. So since this level has really been hit, it's been hit a lot, that level is exhausted. So I did want to change that for you. Let me zoom in. I don't know why it looks like that. Let's take this off. Seems like it's finding support too. Remember that first step, support. Seems like it's finding that in here. Buying pressure was the second step. Did we get buying pressure? It did open up a lot. So that kind of is considered buying pressure. I'd rather it be a little more clean, but we're dealing with this type of stock. Probably won't be too clean. And now is the entry phase. So it is down a little bit to about $10, $10.30. The buying level I had was at $9.85. I actually want to move it to about $10 even. So $10 even, I want to move it up, is the new level that I'm kind of looking out for now on BBBY. Okay, so we'll see how that one plays out. I would like to take this one up. I don't think I put an exit up here. To about $14. I don't need it to go all the way to $30. That's not really, um, I don't know if it's going to get up there, really. I just don't know. Unless we get that big push. We would need that push like we got here to push us up to that $10 mark. I mean, the the $30 mark. But for now, I'm at least looking to about $14. And $10 of $14 should be about 40%. I didn't get the entry. $10. Yeah, right around 40% gain is what I'm looking for at BBY. So kind of watch that one. I'll be watching out for tomorrow. See if it can stay in this range and see if we can actually get buying pressure on the upside. So what we want, we kind of want this to look opposite. We want this to be flipped. Right, we want push up. Maybe it can stall out a little bit in the morning, have a little push up, a pull down there, and then try to enter to get that rise here and then capitalize on that movement. So that's what I'll kind of be looking out for on uh, BBY. Okay, and that was the news on it also. Next one is SoFi. So SoFi had news as well. Let's go ahead and go over SoFi's news. Now, you guys know the loan forgiveness. Uh, Biden released that today. I have two so far ticker symbols. Let's take one of these off. Uh, Biden released it today. Also, I think SoFi, yeah, SoFi is coming up too. SoFi moved up 38 spots. So I think it was like 48. And now it's about the 10 spot on the top mentions of Reddit, up about 200 something percent, 187 upvotes, and about 96 mentions. So uh, SoFi is also moving up. But the thing about SoFi is, let me show you. So yeah, the president uh, announced. 10,000 loan forgiveness for borrowers um, who earn 125,000. This is for federal loans. So private loans are not included in this. It's only federal loans. And then let me go down here. Uh, let's see, where did it say it at? Right here. So in the current environment, the company's one cash machine student loan refinancing business has ground to a halt. So people were waiting for this announcement before they refinance their loans because that, you know, you can get $10,000 off. So no repoint, no point of, say you have 20,000, no point of refinancing your 20,000 when you know you're about to get 10,000 taken off. So now you just refinance your 10,000. So a lot of people were waiting on that final decision on student loan forgiveness right here. But the company should see a surge in borrowers who want to refinance their remaining balances now, now that they know that 10,000, that 10,000 is about to get taken off. Okay. So they're about to see a surge in borrowers to refinance their, um, uh, their remaining balances because that's like 40 percent of of sofi's business is student loan refinancing okay that's a large part of what sofi does so that's why i think sofi had that pop because now they finally have that information so now they're probably going to start getting a lot of people on there so these levels are pretty much the same i just kind of want to add that news on sofi so still looking for a buying level about six dollars and forty Looking for an exit about seven forty, and then looking for an exit of about nine dollars. Okay, but I just want to add that uh, SoFi news on there, and then I want to go over Sundell. So Sundell just did um, at um, an agreement. So SNDL, they're about to be combining businesses with another company. I have some old levels on here. All this is going to change, and I think Sundell, Sundell has been on a lot of stuff, acquirements and stuff like that, but their stock isn't really reflecting what they're doing. Okay, it's not reflecting what they're doing. So 
potentially, I don't know when, but SoFi might have, not SoFi, Sundell might have a nice upward type of movement. Also, make sure you watch the video before this one on AMC, BBIG. I got uh, more stocks in here. I got Mullen in here. I got a put option play that I like to get in here. So make sure you watch that video. All the levels are the same. Just like I said, uh, all the levels are the same in here. So make sure you watch that video and more stocks are in that video also. Okay. Now, uh, where was I? Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the Sundell uh, agreement that they did to acquire the Valens company to create leading vertical integrated cannabis platform. Now, the only thing about this one, why you might see some selling pressure is because the shares of the Vladin shares, it was 0 0.33 of a common share of Sundell. So I feel like people might not want this agreement because, you know, some people want it, some people don't. They're probably going to sell it. So once their shares combine to Sundell, they're probably going to sell that off. Okay. They're probably going to sell it off if they don't like it. So you might see some downward pressure on it. But this is something that's like Sunday has been doing a lot of agreements, acquirements and stuff. So they're building their brand. It's just the stock is the stock isn't really it's not really like going towards what they're doing. So they still have a strong balance sheet with approximately 314 in net cash and no debt. This is very crucial right here. No debt. OK, so still have one of the strongest balance sheet in North America regulated cannabis industry. So Sundell is a good, good potential. So let me go ahead and give you guys these new levels on Sundell. I like it a lot. So what I'm looking for now is not really a buying pressure level. I want to see because once they get these new shares, I'm trying to see if they're going to sell it off or is price going to hold. If price is going to hold, then that means they have confidence in what Sundell is doing. But if you start to see a sell off. That doesn't present too much confidence. So $2.50 is a support level. Price is right around $2.78 now. And I'm going to move this resistance level down a little bit. I'll move it to about $3.30 right now. Okay. $3.30 as a resistance area. So these are the main two levels I'm watching out right now for Sundell support and resistance. Like I said, I think it might be a good long term to kind of hold with all the stuff they're doing and they have no debt like that's like amazing okay no debt so very important make sure you watch that one i'm watching this one as well i might do a smaller play tomorrow to kind of start building that position i just want to see if the people that get those new shares will they sell them will they hold them i think that would be very important okay so thank you guys for joining the team make sure you guys join will knowledge first link in the description private live streams every day Learn how to trade for me. You get all my buys and sells. We talk in the market every day. So if you want more than just YouTube videos, make sure you join first link in that description. And always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in that next one.